Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I will be talking about my time at Portia the game. Um, so, um, this game, uh, I don't know if it's still 50% off, but when I got it, it was 50% off on the uh, Nintendo eShop. I was just like, eh, I have enough um, gold points to uh, get it for free, basically, and then also reduce... Uh, the um, DLC down to 80p, so as well. So yeah, might as well get it. Uh, and I think the DLC was just like a little um, starter pack where I gave you uh, the outfit and uh, um, that a statue um, and a clock, um, which I was like, yeah, it's not expensive. I'll just get it um, just because. And the. I'm saying this because this might you, uh, this might impact uh, my opinion of it being as I can't really be too harsh on it being as I didn't spend any real money on it. Like, yes, I could have used those gold points to get another game, so um, it's not like I got it entirely for free, um, and, uh, and I'm definitely not being paid to do this because who would pay me to make a video on anything? Like, if you want to! Um, well, we'd have to talk, but about it. But uh, if someone wants me to pay me to make a video on something I enjoy, I definitely well just to give my opinion on something. I definitely do that. But um, no, this is completely my own opinions. I've not been given this game. I've gotten this game with my own Nintendo Gold points, and um, so yeah, um, the game itself. Um, and I won't be cutting here because of a couple reasons. Firstly, this game is mildly glitchy and I, while I don't think I encountered any real glitches while um, running around just like showing you the game um, in the footage, um, I'm not going to you know, like cut anything out because um, I don't want people going, oh, you made the game look better than it actually is because you cut to out here and then jump to over here. Um, where Anna's just like, nah, this is just more footage of the game, just what I uh, do while I'm playing it. And I have played it, been playing it for a little while um, since I got it. Uh, yeah, you can see they're a bit glitchy because you probably shouldn't be able to walk into that. Um, but yeah. Um, but these aren't really glitches like glitches in Sonic 06, where, well, nah, no, the, the glitches in Sonic 06 basically made that game fun. These are more like, the, I'm, uh, they're not as blatant as the Sonic 06 glitches, and they're not like the Sonic uh, Boom glitches, where they just break the game and just make it unplayable or and unfun. Uh, they're more kind of, Hiccup kind of glitch. It's like you'll be going around. It's like, oh, that horse is walking on the thin air, and uh, I, and uh, it just brings a little smirk to my face. It's like, the game developers didn't intend for that to happen. I, I just find it mildly amusing, and it kind of gives it a kind of charm. Um, like I will fully admit here quickly that um. Uh, obviously, if you paid full price for this, um, I would completely understand you being a bit upset with it being um, a bit glitchy. Um, because, yeah, if you're paying full pl price for a game, I don't know what its normal price is, but like I said, I got 50% off. Uh, and then with gold points, but um, I can't imagine. Uh, I, I, I do say if, you know, if... Um, if you don't like the idea of paying for a game and then just going around and then just like seeing a horse glitching and you know walking on thin air for a little bit or whatever, then I definitely say yeah, probably hold off on this for a little while um, because um, if it gets updated to be you know less glitchy. Um, like, sometimes there's voice lines, sometimes there isn't, so like if they updated it so that there was always voice line, you know, voice acting, or, um, like maybe fixed fixed a few bugs. I, I, I remember one time uh, when I upgraded my workbench, um, the, 
I had to restart the game after having the, after dropping down a um, restore point because um, the uh, it pops up in the bottom left corner when you get something or when you use something up. So it popped up that I spent two thousand gold uh, to upgrade the workbench, and that would not go away. So I had to drop down a restore point, close the game, and then load it back up. And uh, yeah, I can. Like I said, this game is a bit buggy, um, but it is just genuinely, if you like Animal Crossing, but think it's too slow with just having to do everything on an IRL daily basis, then this game is for you. You will probably love this game, uh, because you can customise your house. Um, you have relationships with the other, with the NPCs, um, and uh, um, while you can't custom, and you can customize your lot, but uh, you can't customize the outer world, which again you really couldn't do that in uh, any Animal Crossing until um, New Horizons comes out, um, which it's not out right now. It's um, currently the third of the third, at 2020. Um, so, uh, is Animal Crossing get New Horizons and out yet? But in that, you can customize the world. But yeah, it is a think Stardew Valley mixed with Animal Crossing, and it is genuinely all a lot of fun because um, it's just one of those games like Animal Crossing where you can just sit back and relax and just like play the game, uh, hammer out a few quests, which borrows from, which it borrows from Stardew Valley. Um, and, uh, the, yeah, it, I'm just, uh, uh, I, uh, there are dungeons which, um, even if I don't talk through the entire gameplays with, I will probably just slightly speed up the gameplay a little bit, and I'll just leave you to watch the, you know, the gameplay that I did, um, just playing this, um, and I will speed it up because a lot of this game is just waiting for me, you know, just waiting for something to be smelted or made and then to add it to the thing that you're making. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, my biggest problem is that you can basically make a car, which you cannot use that car to drive around. But, after completing one of the first uh, main quest, ma first quest that you get in the game, um, you can after that and returning this item to old McDonald, who does indeed have a farm, E I E I O. Um, after returning uh, him to him his item, um, he will allow you to buy or rent a horse. Um, now the rent the ba horses that you buy are a lot worse than the horse that you rent. So like they like have like different that um, statistics and. Oh, and the horses that you buy have lower st statistics, you know, stats than the horse you can rent. Like the horse you can rent has everything maxed out, um, and the horses you buy obviously don't. Um, you and I think you rent the rent, you rent the horse for 500 per week, and the horses you buy, I think one's one like one million, and the others 50, one, uh, 1500. So, um, yeah. Uh, again, I would just prefer it if I could just craft the um, car and then drive the car around. And then with that, what you could do is like have the car run on the energy crystals that you get in the game. But no, your only mode of transport apart from running around and uh, the the little stops for those vehicles, which you have to craft yourself for the most part and then place them around the world in designated areas. Um, which also, why not just let us um, choose an area where, where we want to put them as well? Um, but anyway, um, and it, uh, yes, yeah, and then just like uh, you know, you it's either that for the horse or just run there. And I really think that um, it could just be like a balancing act. The horses don't need fuel, but um, you know. Their animals, so like they wander off or whatever, um, and but there is a marker on the mini map for you to find them. Um, while the like uh, the little car, which is called a DD, I think it was called, um, they 
um, won't wander off, but they use uh, these, you know, the fuel crystals, like I said, which aren't t terribly difficult to get a hold of, but are a bit of a pain in the bum because you have to mine uh, these uh, rocks that spawn every day, respawn every, pretty much every day. Um, and that's the most reliable way of getting them. Like, there is another way by smashing these blue crystals, but you need an iron, a level 3 pick for that, basically. Um, and you could probably, I don't know if you'd have a level 3 pick by then, I can't remember if I did. Um, also, good, so I've got here, um, which I'm just remembering because on my screen, I don't know if it's probably not going to be the same for you, but I'm in the research centre right now, and I have a quest to go to the research centre and ask like about these uh, glass things, but for some reason it's just not letting me do it, so I don't know what's going on there. Um, but yeah. Uh, what, what else? Um, Uh, yeah, so I don't know a tremendous amount about this game. I haven't, like, done a ton of research into it. I've just talk I'm just talking about my experiences with the game. And it is honestly one of the... Oh, I know I like little boss fights, but... Oh, the combat is incredibly easy. Like, especially if you have a turbo button. If you have a turbo button, just use your turbo button on the Y button, and then you basically... Apart from the bosses, you just basically instantly win, because um, the bosses, you... And they... And pretty much all of them have the same attack pattern. Uh, just uh, sometimes they mix it up. So just like hit them three times, run away. Hit them another three times, run away. And then eventually, when you get them to about half health, they'll change up their attack pattern. Um, so yeah, but the, so the combat isn't incredibly deep. So it's, it's basically my base. Uh, what Minecraft combat used to be, but a bit slower. So it was just basically mash button until win. Uh, and you know that's basically how it is. Uh, but yeah, I would say that it, this is a charming but slightly glitchy game. Uh, I haven't really noticed any severe stuttering or frame rates. Like, I have noticed it um, st stopping a couple of times. Like uh, I can remember it stopping once for a few seconds, but. Honestly, that's not the end of the world. Like even I think Breath of the Wild even stuttered on the on occasion. Some where sometimes I can't. Um, but um, just like a few updates, you know, just like um, patching out some glitches, smoothing out the frame rate, and this would probably be a game on not quite on par with Stardew Valley and. A, um, Animal Crossing, but just slightly but under, like, um, because it, it is, uh, like I said, it is, a, it is a lot of fun, but, um, Stardew Valley and Animal Crossing are, uh, are pretty unique, and the, the, while they do have, uh, you know, uh, influences uh, in, you know, Stardew Valley is influenced by, uh, um, uh, Harvest Moon, and the, the, uh, well, Animal Crossing is just its own completely different thing, and those two sort of are big names. This, I don't think this would be as big as them, but I definitely say if this just had a you know smooth out the frame rate, uh, work out the bugs and glitches, uh, which honestly there are too many. It's not, and I not encountered a game breaking bug yet. Um, it it would honestly just be. Yeah. A really, it is just a really fun, relaxing game. Um, yeah. Uh, there is a bit of story. Uh, I wouldn't say a tr tremendous amount. I'd say more than Stardew Valley, but... Uh, yeah, more than Stardew Valley, but... It's not... A, a lot of stories aren't ongoing, like... Uh, you know, they'll start and finish. Some are short, some are longer. Shorter is longer. Um, so, that, so it's not like um, going to be the next... It's not going to be the game where you analyse its law and plot for the next uh, 10 years. Um, it's just going to be one of those games where 
you sit down, you relax, you, you know, f do a few quests, get, crawl through a couple dungeons, and, you know, just have a bit, little bit of relaxing fun. Uh, yeah. Um, also, uh, by doing quests, sometimes the world around you will change, but these are more like uh, main story uh, quests. Um, you, you can also get quests from the, um, like this builder's place where um, that they probably won't in, uh, really impact the world for the most part. Um, but there's this old man called Isaac, a miserable old man called Isaac. I know it's not me at all. Uh, if you didn't know, my name is Isaac. So, yeah, no, not me. Um, but, yeah, Isaac, um, early, early on in the game, he asks you to make him a two stone stools and a stone table so he can play his uh, board game in the park without sitting on the ground. And from then on, you will see those two stools and that table in the park after you've done that quest, which is nice. Uh, nice because it actually makes you feel like you are impacting the world around you um what else uh there's right so this is church and i don't particularly trust the church in this game because they they um seem to be so, the, uh, I, again, I haven't played through much of this game, but this uh, basically it seems to take place in post-apocalyptic Earth. Uh, basically, I'm guessing we just nuked each other um, into oblivion, and there's, then there's like a few pockets of survivors. Um, and the church basically takes the data disks that you will find in the mines and destroys them, or whatever, uh, because they believe, at least they say that they knowledge on them is too dangerous and I I don't know if it's just my natural just kind of uh, me just being like I don't like the idea of knowledge being suppressed or censored or even or let alone destroyed um, or if I or if I'm just overthinking this um, but I just don't trust the church. I think they're gonna be evil. I think the church is gonna be evil in this game. Again, I haven't played through much of the game, but I, I think the church might be evil. Just, just maybe. Anyway, um, so yeah. Uh, if I had to give this game a game a rating from one to ten, it would be a seven. Uh, as it is right now, if they. Uh, got, you know, uh, cleaned up, again, sorted out the bugs, cleaned up the frame rate a bit, uh, added a bit more voice acting, then it would easily be an 8. Um, but with those minor anno annoyances, nuisances, whatever you want to call them, in the, the game, it's definitely a 7. I would de definitely pick it up if it's on sale. Think about it uh, if it's not on sale. Um, you know, if you're just like, ah, I need a game to play. Because um, it, it's not like we don't have enough games to play. I mean, Jesus, there's so many games I need to get around to even buying, and let alone the ones I need to get around to playing. Uh, anyway, um, but yeah, uh, my time I put here is definitely one of the better games uh, that well I wouldn't say one of the better games that I saw on the Switch but I'd say a solid 7 it's fun, it's relaxing and it, uh, um, it is nice to just uh, assemble stuff to complete quests and everything Anyway, I think I'm going to finish up my narration, I'm going to split the video here and then just speed up the video so you can have just like a quick look of what I did in the game uh, before I started recording this uh, post narration. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye. Uh, Hi
Thank <laughs> you. 